Uh, it's obviously not unpleasant to get the pride, right? So uh, I'm very happy, and uh, oh, that of course it arrives at a time where my friend Robert Brout is no more there, and for a work that we did together, and which was the beginning of a long-lasting friendship. I came to uh, Cornell University as what one calls now postdoc. It was my uh, first and actually my last postdoc. And I came to work with Robert Brout, who was already a professor there and was very well known for his work in uh, uh, statistical physics, essentially. And uh, we immediately got a very good relation there. And uh, he was thinking uh, uh, in a physics in a rather different way than I was, and, uh, but we understood each other very well, and that was the beginning of a long-lasting uh, collaboration and uh, that reinforces our friendship. So we were complementary also? We were complementary to the amount that uh, uh, despite the fact that we were thinking things in a very different way, we very quickly understood the way the other was thinking, and actually to the, uh, to the fact that when one of us was saying something, the other was uh, uh, terminating the sentence for him uh, with some pleasure. The importance of this uh, the, actually, or the theory is that it confirms the standard model completely, because the standard model was uh, verified very well in uh, many experiments and, uh, and, and, and uh, contains all what we know, essentially, uh, about the particle uh, physics today. And, uh, but the standard model was based on the idea of a condensation of scalar particles, and uh, which uh, uh, should be detected only by detecting the component, which is a scalar particle, which has not been detected up to the uh, extremely important uh, CERN experiment. And also, uh, it, has, uh, pro uh, it has potentially extremely important um, consequences if we look at the cosmological history of the universe, because um, if we go backwards in time and reach something of the order, I have to compute it, right? Uh, something of the order of uh, um, uh, a tenth of a uh, um, uh, milliard, uh, billion uh, of second. That? Can you just say that sentence again? Yeah. So uh, if we go uh, that we, if we arrive going backwards in time to uh, something of the order of a ten to the billions of a second, close to the uh, beginning of the universe the structure of the universe due to the mechanism that we had constructed will completely change and that may have a very influence on the theory one hopes one day to do, which is the scientific understanding of the origin of the universe.